Floridians in the Northeast breathe just a little bit easier, but there's still rain coming as a brand new survey says more Americans are traveling this year than last July 4th. Most of them actually by car, even though gas prices have seen a major jump in the recent weeks. Lee Abamante, a travel expert, blogger, joins us to talk about the 4th of July travel and how the hurricane might affect you. You know a thing or two about traveling. You know this guy to be to every country and visit every country in the entire world. It seems like though, even with a hurricane being downgraded, still the rain, the wind, all that kind of stuff can cause a big problem, right? Yeah, for sure, especially if you're driving. I mean, you have to plan ahead, give yourself extra time, you know, perhaps buy gas ahead of time and just uh, be careful because there's a lot more people on the road. When you think about it also in terms of the airlines and that kind of stuff, you've got Philadelphia, New York, LaGuardia, Newark, all these airports in the line of this storm you start getting delays there, that ripples all the way across the country. So if I'm flying out of O'Hare, it could still affect me, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's one out of three delays in the entire United States is caused by LaGuardia in and of itself. So if you're flying in, out of any of the Northeast airports, you have to be careful. I, I would call ahead so then you don't get stuck in the airport. And honestly, it's never a great idea to fly on holidays unless you have to. Well, and it seems as though even, especially on this holiday, and as we've seen airfares going up, the capacity that the airlines have has gone down. So prices go up, but also when things go wrong, they have less ability to rebook you on the next flight because that one's full too. Yeah, air, tra air travel just in general in the last couple of years has become a bigger and bigger hassle. You really can't win with them, and you're really at their mercy. It's really unfortunate. So uh, especially with change fees and everything else, like sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they help you, but a lot of times they don't. And then especially if there's a real problem, like weather disaster or something like that, then you have a lot of angry people at the airport. Well, that definitely happens around holiday weekends. Even, even if people don't get angry, it's just a busy time there. Do, at what point do you figure, and we only have a few seconds here, but how long the drive does it have to be for you before you go, you know what, I would rather drive it than risk the hassle of flying? Well, I'm going to D.C. from here in New York on Monday, and there's no way I'm going to fly, either drive or take the train, just to avoid the hassle, because it's a one-hour flight versus a three- or four-hour drive and I'll take the drive anytime just to avoid potential disasters between LaGuardia and DCA. My grandfather used to say, if you have time to spare, go by air. Lee Abamante, travel expert and blogger, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Arthel? Time to spare, go by